Hello gorgeous, welcome to the Soul Led Millionaire podcast. In this show, I will teach you how to manifest the life of your dreams and become a soul led millionaire yourself. We will go deep on all things money, mindset, manifestation, self-love, spirituality, and more. I can't wait to bring you this content. So sit back, relax, listen in, and let's get into today's episode. Hello there, welcome to another episode of The Soul Led Millionaire. Today, I want to talk about shifting your state, right? Or my simple exercise for shifting into your desired state. And the reason I want to talk about this is because it is such a simple way to shift and it can radically change your day and also radically change what you are attracting and manifesting in any moment because it is all about your state, right? So first things first, what is a state? Well, it's like your mood, right? It is thinking, feeling and behaving in a certain way that brings forth corresponding emotions, beliefs and experiences. And we are always in a state, whether we know it or not, whether we're consciously choosing it or not, we are always in a state and therefore we are always attracting. We're always magnetizing something to us. And a lot of the time when we don't actively practice, when we don't actively train ourselves into the states that we want to be in, we are essentially attracting on autopilot. And more often than not, we're attracting things that we don't necessarily want and we don't necessarily need and are more likely to be perceived as negative from from our perspective, right? So the reason you want to start getting really well-versed, well-practiced and disciplined in creating your state in any moment is to change what you are attracting. It's to change what is coming to you in your reality. So like I said, we're, we're always practicing a state, right? You have always been practicing a state yourself since birth and therefore you have always been attracting things to you. So if you are living in an experience right now where nothing is working out, or only some things are working out, or maybe most things are working out, but there's one particular thing that's not working out, this is the state you have been practicing. And if it is not giving you the results that you want, my friend, it is time to practice a new state, right? That's all you have to do. You have to practice a new state. You have to now train yourself into the state of having the things and being the person that you want to be. So, for example, you might have been in a state where you have been telling yourself things like, it's not working, no matter what I do, it doesn't seem to be changing, or things are changing, but it's at a snail's pace. I can't believe it. This is frustrating. I'm feeling very, very impatient, very, very irritable. And what is showing up in my reality? It's more things that make me frustrated, more things that make me irritable, more things that are slowing everything down. I feel like it's just taking forever, right? And you might be saying these things to yourself. You might be feeling them inside your body. This is a state, right? It's an inner experience or a condition that you are in. You've placed yourself in. And you can be in a state of lack, a state of abundance, a state of frustration, a state of bliss, or a state of completion, or a state of fulfillment. It is always your choice. So my question to you is, what state are you in right now? What's your state? I want you to close your eyes for a moment and tune in. Tune into yourself. Ask yourself, What is the state that I'm in right now? What are the thoughts I have been thinking? What are the feelings I have been feeling? What experiences have I been having recently? And I want you to just mentally note them. Pop them in the side of your brain, just as a note. because we're not going to use it 
but it's just there for you to recognize where you've been where you have been dominantly practicing a state right now since you know what state you have been practicing i'm going to assume it's not a state you want to be in or it's not exactly the state that you want to be in you would like to be having better days where you're not anxious or you're not worrying about money or you're not feeling lack you would like to maybe have days where you're feeling more abundant more wealthy more successful more confident more stable less emotive whatever it is what we're going to do is one of my simplest but favorite exercises to completely change your state in the moment and this is what I guess would be called a pattern interrupt. And if you haven't heard of what a pattern interrupt is, it's a technique that is, it helps you change a particular thought, behavior, or situation in the moment. It essentially cuts in the way <laughs> of the, the pattern that you're currently uh, rolling out. And it stops you in your tracks and it helps you reroute to what you want. So for me, in the past and even in real time, like now or in the past, <laughs> whenever I am having a day where maybe I am thinking a bit negatively or maybe I can sense that my inner commentary isn't going in the direction that I want. And I can usually tell this by how I'm feeling. Or maybe you don't even know what you're thinking. Like you haven't caught it, but you notice that you're feeling like a subtle anxiety. Or maybe it's a stress. Or maybe you can't exactly explain it, but it doesn't feel good. A pattern interrupt is a fantastic exercise for this. Because no matter what, even if you can't name it, or you can, you are in a state that you don't want to be in, right? You're not in your desired state. So what you want to be is in your desired state. And the reason you want to be is to continue to train yourself out of your old patterns, out of the old way of being, out of the old reality that you've been living in and train yourself into the experience, the inner experience, the reality of what you want of who you want to be and what you want to have and how you want to live and the person that you radiate as, right? This is why we want to get really good at training ourselves into the state of who we want to be. And so the first step of this exercise, and it can happen very quickly, it doesn't have to, you don't have to like set aside an hour <laughs> to shift through it. You can do this in the moment when it's happening. Is the first thing I want you to know for certain is what you want, right? I want you to know for certain exactly what you want. So you can do this exercise beforehand, before you actually go through the shifting your desired state exercise, they're separate, but you have to know what you want in order to do this exercise. So my question is, what do you want? How much money do you want? How much money do you want in the bank? How much money do you want to be making every month through your business? What does your finances look like? What does shopping look like for you? What does investing and spending money look like? How do you feel in your body being fully covered financially, like living a life of financial freedom. How does that feel inside? What are the things that you own? You know, maybe it's a house. Maybe it's a specific car that you really want. Maybe it's certain pieces of furniture or whatever it is. What do you own? I want you to build out this world of what it looks like and be so clear of what it is that you want that's in this world. And now, who are you? Who do you want to be? How do you want to feel within all the time? Who is this person? 
Now, I would love for you to pause this episode and actually go and write these answers down because I want you clear on exactly what you want. I don't want you changing your income goals every couple of days. I want you to pick exactly what you want, not what would be more of what you could get behind, not what would be so unrealistic you don't believe you could have it at all. Exactly what you want, okay? (laughs) What do you want? And once you are clear on that, anytime you are not in the state that you want to be in, I want you to do this exercise. Wherever you are, I want you to pause. And I want you to do the opposite of what you are currently doing. So if you are sitting down and you notice that you are thinking thoughts or feeling feelings that are not in favor of the state that you want to be in and not in favor of the life that you want to be living and who you want to be as a wealthy, rich woman or man, (laughs) I want you to do the opposite. So if you're sitting, stand up. If you're standing up, sit down. You're pattern interrupting yourself in the moment, right? Stop whatever you're doing. And then I want you to close your, your eyes and ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? And if you find it hard to find the answer for that, answer, who do I want to be? Or am I being who I want to be? Now for me, when I do this exercise, I may say, I am Elise McDowell. I am a very wealthy woman. I am loved. I am beautiful. I am full in my life. I am full with meaning and purpose and financial security and connection and coziness in my home. I am completely satisfied in my life. And then I want you to continue with this series of questions that I'm going to ask. Who am I? How does life work for me? And I want you to answer this in the moment. So I might say something like, life works for me so simply and so easily. Everything always falls into my lap. Everything always works out for me. Even when I can't see it, even when I'm feeling like, oh my God, I I don't think this is going to work. Life has my back. I am so covered. I am so protected. I am so guided. I am so looked out for. Life works in my favor. And then ask yourself this next question. What is my inner experience? Or how do I want to feel within? So my inner experience is that I am solid. I'm safe. I'm secure. I'm full. I'm complete. I'm whole. I'm satisfied. I am completely in a state of bliss. That is my inner experience. Next question I want you to ask yourself is how do I feel? How do I feel within? I feel like I am so happy and so joyful and so calm and so at peace. And I know that no matter what, no matter what, life has got my back. I am always being taken care of. I am always looked out for. I know this. Next question I want you to ask is, what do I have as this woman? What do I have? So for me, I would say something like, I know that I live in the most beautiful home, in this most beautiful location. I love how I feel in this home. I love waking up every morning and checking my bank account and seeing so much money in there. I love how it feels to move through my home and to know at any moment I can tune in and connect in with my members, with my audience, with my business. I love that 
My friends and my family love coming to my home and spending time here. It is the most beautiful sanctuary. I love that in the garage my dream car sits and I love it. It is beautiful. It makes me feel so expansive and so exhilarated. It makes me feel like I am the epitome of bliss. <laughs> I love knowing that no matter what, I can go out and I can buy whatever I want. I can buy to my heart's content and I can buy based on my love for things. Whether it's clothing or beautiful pieces of jewelry or furniture to add to my home or decor. I love knowing that that's what I get to have. I love that I can travel first class anytime, anywhere, and I can take anyone with me if I wanted to. I love that I get to have this experience and experience it with others. This is what I get to have and more because I am a wealthy, financially secure woman. And then the final question is, what do I know for sure? What do I know for sure? I know for sure that no matter what, no matter what, I get to have everything that I want. No matter what, that this is my reality. And I decide how it goes. I decide how it gets to be. I am the operant power. I am the only creator of my reality. And therefore, I have all of the power to create exactly what I want. I know for sure that I am powerful. And I know my power. And I know that no matter what, I can always change in a moment to exactly what I want because I take full responsibility for my life, for my power and for what I'm creating. And I know that I will never lead myself wrong. I will never keep myself in a place that I don't want to be because I am the operant power. Okay. So, that is the exercise that I want you to do. I will tell you those questions now so it's much easier for you to write them down. The first question is, who am I? Second question is, how does life work for me? The third question is, what is my inner experience? The fourth question is, how do I feel? The fifth question is, what do I have? And the sixth question is, what do I know for sure? And this is an incredible, amazing, pattern-interrupting exercise to help you shift into your desired state. This is all you have to do. And I guarantee you, you will be feeling friggin' high on life <laughs> if you do it. If you do it properly and you take the time to tune in and to redirect your energy, redirect your state, redirect yourself to who you want to be, and what you want to have and how you want to be living as the person who is the person that they want to be and has the things that they want to have. It is this simple. It is this simple to manifest exactly what you want. But you have to commit to doing the work. You have to commit to changing your state every time you're not in it. And yes, it's going to feel fucking exhausting at first. <laughs> you are training. You're literally training. It's like going to the gym and starting a workout routine. Have you ever done it where you've suddenly gone and started working out using weights machines? And oh my God, you're paralyzed the next day. And you feel like that for maybe two weeks. It's exactly the same with doing this work. But this work will give you everything that you want and more. So my love. <laughs> Anytime you have a day where you are in a mood or you are not feeling great or you just know that you're not in the state that you want to be in, do this exercise. Listen to this episode. Feel the energy of me. <laughs> Put yourself back into the state. It is like eating a nutritious meal 
or drinking a massive glass of water and rehydrating yourself. Listen to this episode and do this exercise and do not stop until you feel different, until you feel how you want to feel and you're no longer feeling in the way that you don't want to feel, okay? All right, lovely. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I, of course, would love it if you could subscribe or leave a review. And I will see you again in the next episode.